Welcome, welcome, guys. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hey, how you doing, George? Hello, teacher. Excellent. <laughs> Austin, how are you? Hello, tell me. Very good. Thank you for asking. How about you? I can't complain. <laughs> Life is good. I, I am happy. <laughs> really? <laughs> I yes. love to love to know you're okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank God. Thank God. Hello, Anna. Hello, Deborah. Hello, Catherine. Welcome back, guys. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, who can tell me what do you remember uh, about yesterday's class? What do you remember about yesterday's class? El uso del a y el am para palabras singulares. Correct. Y no ponerlas cuando va seguido de, vo de vocal, sino con el sonido de vocal o consonante. That is correct. That is correct. Hey, let's go ahead um, and do a... Uh-huh. Place and activity. Very good. Vocabulary about activities. Let's listen to refresh. Listen to refresh. Escuchemos para refrescar. I would like for you to make examples with all the vocabulary words given. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Uh, can everybody hear? Can everybody hear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Hi, yes. everyone. In this class, okay. you'll learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. One, he's a receptionist. Two, she's a doctor. Three, she's a nurse. Four, he's a pilot. Five, she's a flight attendant. Six, he's a musician. Seven, she's a singer. Eight, she's a judge. Nine, he's a police officer. Ten, he's a lawyer. Eleven, he's a cook. He's a chef. Twelve, he's a waiter. Thirteen, she's a waitress. Fourteen, he's a salesperson. Fifteen, she's a cashier. Sixteen, she's a security guard. Now, let me write some additional vocabulary, which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that these different jobs do. Places. In a hospital. In an office. In a store. In a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform. Sits all day. Talks to people. Works hard. Stands all day. Handles money. Works at night. Writes tickets. Now, we want to connect the job to places and activities. Let me make a couple of examples and then I would like for you to make your own. A doctor works in a hospital. This is place. A doctor works hard. This is an activity. A cashier works in a store. Cashier works in a store. This is a place. A cashier handles money. This is an activity. Now I would like for you to make examples with all the vocabulary words given. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums.
All right, who can give me an example uh, from yesterday's class using the profession, place, and the activity? A police war in police station, police? A police station, um, police station. Activity. Uh -huh. A police write a ticket. Very good. So you say a police. Give me a second. I don't know why it's not writing. All right. So I say. Okay, so I say a police officer works in a police station. Good. And then you say a police officer writes tickets. Excellent. Very good example. Okay, another example. Another example. A, a nurse wears a, a uniform a and a nurse works in the hospital. A uniform. Very good. A nurse wears a uniform. A nurse works in a hospital hospital okay good job thank you another example who can give me another example a police officer works in a police station, a police officer writes tickets, a nurse. Uh -huh. Red de la clase anterior, teacher. Correcto. De los ejemplos ah, okay. que vimos ayer. Anoche. Ah, okay. sí. The engineer works in an office. An office. Okay. An engineer works in an office good and, and what is the, the activity engineer mm -hmm. design and engineer designs eh, planos no sé cómo se dice planos blueprints o oh, también he escuchado drafts drafts Pero creo que los drafts los hacen los draftsmen. No son ni arquitectos. ¿Sabían ni ustedes? Draftsmen. Mire, saben que este es un super mega buen negocio. Eh, yo trabajo en bienes y raíces. Y los draftsmen en los Estados Unidos no tienen que tener ni bachiller para ser un draftsman. Mientras sepan usar AutoCAD o un software así de, de básico no necesitan ni un técnico y solo hace, el software solo que lo sepan utilizar mm -hmm. y que sepan hacer los dibujos cada draft pueden valer hasta dos mil dólares teacher ese, también ese, creo que también lo de los logotipos 3D ajá también los logotipos 3D eh, los drafts de cosas de máquinas Eh, todo, todo, todo lo que es en el ambiente de draftsman allá es muy buen pagado. Yo estoy en el ámbito de bienes y raíces. Yo sé que para hacer un draft de un closet, una extension que le estés haciendo, mil dólares, mil doscientos dólares, dos mil dólares el draft. Incluso yeah. aquí, teacher, y este, yo he visto, yo trabajo en esto de la refrigeración. Y he visto que los diseños, por ejemplo, de 
un aire acondicionado para algún edificio son, son bien caros, solo un Yeah, se mira el dibujo así. yeah, yeah, it's a good business, it's a good business. Okay, another example. A uh, lawyer, a lawyer, mm -hmm. work in a courthouse. A lawyer works in a courthouse. In a courthouse. Courthouse. Mm -hmm. What's the activity? The teacher. Uh, ¿Cuál sería la actividad del lawyer? A lawyer works in a courthouse. What's the activity? Sería defender a la como defender a la a la persona quien lo diga. A lawyer. Defense. A Defense. lawyer defends a defendant. Okay. Uh, yes. ¿Qué significa, teacher? ¿Qué significa qué cosa? Defense and defendant. Ah, defense es el verbo de defender y defendant es el acusado. Es el acusado. Ah, ok. Thank you. Yes, George. No, solo me gusta estar ahí pendiente cuando. cuando ah, me ok. Voy. Ok, good, good. Eh, tell me. Sí, teacher, este, eh, yo tengo un ejemplo. Mm -hmm. Sería. Eh, The chef estaría bien ocupar de en vez de a o an. Eh, en la diferencia entre da y a es que si uh -huh. está hablando del da chef, quiere decir que estamos hablando de alguien que todos conocemos. Pero oh. si dice a chef, está hablando de un chef X que nadie conoce. Que es un, ex, ah, okay. un, un chef. Entonces es, se puede poner los dos ejemplos. En general. Ajá. Digamos uh -huh. que estamos. Uh -huh. Digamos que estamos en Tony Romas, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Y usted le dice. Usted le dice al, al mesero. <coughs> eh, dígale al chef. Que le mando una coronita. Porque le quedaron uh -huh. las costillas. Delicious. All right. Uh -huh. Usted va a decir. Okay. Usted va a decir, tell the chef I send a corona because the food is delicious. Right. Ahí, ahí en este contexto, sí mm -hmm. podemos utilizar eh, the chef. ¿Por qué? Porque usted, yo y todos en la mesa y el mesero sabemos que es el chef que nos hizo la comida. Pero si digamos estamos hablando de en general, ajá, un chef, vamos a decir a chef. A chef. Entonces sería a chef work in the hotel. A chef make cook. A uh, chef. Mm. Make. No. Ah, a chef cooks. Make. Perfecto. Food. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. A chef cooks food. Very good. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, George. Aprovechando que veo Teo. Este, yo recuerdo que hace mucho me decían de que Teo. Lo puede ocupar, así con el ejemplo que ha puesto usted, está perfecto. Uh -huh. y, pero me quedó como que la duda con usted. Este, ah, ok. Lo tengo que utilizar con, cuando estoy hablando, por ejemplo, con usted ahorita, y le pido que, que me cuente algo. Uh -huh. Y el peor es, en, es cuando hay bastantes personas. Uh -huh. eh, sí, no, por ejemplo, el, el say 
es como que más general y el tell es como que más específico. Eh, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, eh, ¿tienes hermanos o hermanas tú? Tengo hermanos. Hermanos, ok. Eh, digamos eh, que en la mañana tu mamá dice, cuando llegue a casa, quiero ver esta casa limpia. Right? Y cuando ella llega a casa, los trastes sucios, mm -hmm. la basura todavía está allí. Eh, es un desastre. Y ella dice que no dije que quiero esta casa en orden. ¿Qué va a decir? ¿Qué va a decir? ¿Cómo va a decir ella? ¿Ah? Uh, I don't say. Ajá, vamos a decir el say. ¿Verdad? I. Bueno, en este caso como ya es pasado. ¿Verdad? Said. Yo dije. I said. I want. This house clean. Right. Pero no le dijo a quién. No dijo George, no dijo Pedro, no dijo María, no oh. dijo José. Ella solo lo dijo, así que todos hicieron lo de los panes. Pero el siguiente día, ella dice, ah, ok, George, I want you to wash the dishes. Peter, I want you to take out the trash. José. I want you sweep and mop the floor. And Maria, I want you to clean the sofas. Right? So todos hacen lo que tenían que hacer, menos George, el más obediente. A George le dijeron que lavara los platos, pero no los lavó. So cuando mamá llega a casa, Ve los platos y dice, no dije, I said I want this house clean. Viene María y le dice, ah, mm, mm, mom, tú le dijiste a George que lavara los platos. Right? Ahí vamos a decir, you called George to wash the dishes. En el pasado, ahí sería en el pasado. En el presente sería tell. Dile a George que lave los platos. Eh, tell George to wash the dishes. Qué bueno. Ajá. Esa es la diferencia. El tell es como que más specific. Right? Es importante expresar a quién le está diciendo y el say es como que más general, right? Por, no, como, no, como por ejemplo, no. por ejemplo, cuando la gente dice, eh, dicen, digamos que estás hablando de un restaurante nuevo y tú dices, dicen que está bueno, right? People say It's delicious. Mm -hmm. So el say es como que más para expresar ideas eh, en general. El tell ya es como que a quién le estás diciendo. Ya más específico. Perfect. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Okay, guys, uh, let's go ahead and move forward. I know that all of you are ready to move forward. So let's take a look at the next uh, activity on the platform. All right, so here you were supposed to give me uh, some examples. All right, good, I see the examples. Let's go ahead and we did this one yesterday. We did, we completed this one yesterday. Todavía tengo mala musician. Um, all right, 3.3. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when asking simple present WH questions. 
Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a sonar de una manera natural cuando hagan preguntas interrogativas WH en presente simple. ¿Qué quiero decir con WH? Right? Por ejemplo, si yo te digo, ¿cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo lo voy a decir? What's your name? What's your name? Right? So that empieza con WH. What's your name? Ahora si yo te digo, is your name Jose? What kind of question is this? No, I'm not. Right. So, esta es open, open ah, question. Yes, my question. And this is a closed question. Right. Porque aquí solo vas a decir yes it is or no it isn't. Or for example, if I say where do you live? Is that open or closed? Open. Open. If I say, do you like pizza? Is that open or closed? Closed. Closed. Right. So today we're going to look at the pronunciation. Eh, quiero que noten que la pronunciación es where do you? Where do you? No es where do you? Separado. No. Where do you? Where do you? Repeat. Where do you? 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 Uh huh. So Where it's a it's a it's a connected sound. It's not a separate sound. It's a connected sound. Yeah, you don't say where do you? No, no. Where do you? Repeat. Where, where do you? What do you? do you? Where what do you? Where do you? What do you? Where do you? What do you? Where do you? Okay, let's listen. Let's listen to the audio and then we will practice together. Listen to the audio and we will practice together. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when asking simple pressing WH questions. Native English people was born. or omit many different words. This is the reason why you may not understand the program on TV even though you understand the script or dialogue in writing. This is a big pronunciation topic. However, in this class, we will talk about the reduction of do and does. Pronunciation. Reduction of do and does. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? If we analyze the first example, where do you work? If you notice, do you are sort of like underline at the bottom. Essentially, what we're trying to explain by this is that we are connecting those two words. This is called linking in English. So when that happens, the sound changes from being where do you work to where do you work? As I mentioned, this is a very big pronunciation topic, which you learn by listening carefully and repeating. So let me read out the examples without the reduction and with the reduction of do and does so that you can have a better idea. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? 
what does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Now, I would like for you to practice. Okay. For this activity, what you are going to do is you are going to practice the pronunciation of using the natural sound. And then you are going to record yourself in Vocaroo.com. When you are finished, you are going to put the recording over here. Any questions? Any no questions? questions? What are you going? Right. What are you going to do? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a ir al sitio. Hacer una respuesta a cada pregunta de la que están. Ah, uh -uh. vamos a practicar la pronunciación natural de las preguntas estas. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does she work? Where do they work? What do you do? What does she do? What do they do? Y se va a grabar en Bocaru, en la plataforma que hemos estado usando. Y va a compartir la grabación acá en el discussion forum. And we're going to do that in pairs. We're going to practice in pairs. You will have five minutes to practice. Let's go. Hello. Hello. En verdad que individual o, o cómo lo íbamos a hacer? Eh, I don't know. No. Pero pues sí, vamos a, a practicar que la, la pronunciación. Ah, o sea, a, a, así aquí. Es que yo oí que, que dijo de que íbamos a grabar algo. Sí, va a ser individual. Ah, ok.
All right, let me have one volunteer. Let me have one volunteer, please. Un voluntario que quiera leer las preguntas. Un voluntario. Un voluntario. One volunteer que quiera leer las preguntas. Yo. Okay, go ahead. Serían estas que están aquí en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Yes. Where do you work? Mm -hmm. What do you do? What do you do? Yep. Where does he work? Where does he work? Okay. What does he do? What does he do? Good. Where do they work? Where do they work? Okay. What do they do? What do they do? Okay. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Let me Teacher. have... Yes, yes. Fíjese que yo tuve problemas con el sitio y no pude hacerlo. No sé si lo puedo hacer después de la clase y ponerlas en, en los comentarios del video. Yes, of course. Ok, teacher, thank you. Thank you. Ok, let me have another volunteer. Let me have another volunteer. Sí, yo puedo hacer las preguntas. <laughs> yes, yes, go ahead, déjalas. Eh, yo creo que las compartieron al WhatsApp. ¿No las compartieron en el WhatsApp? Let me see. Ahorita las mando. There it is. Ya las, <laughs> ya las encontré. Go ahead. Is the uh, where do you work? Okay, where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where, where does do he they work? work? Where do they work? What do you do? What does he do? What, what do, do you do? do? Okay. So let's All, right. Back, All right, it sounds good. It sounds good. Uh, Yes, go ahead. Where do you work? Where does he work? Where do where do you do? What do you do? Huh? What do you do? What do what, you do? What do they do? What do they do? Y, pero, Where do you work? Yo tú solo ese sombrero? Yes. That's it. Okay. All right. Uh, let me have the last one. The last one that wants to say them. One more. Somebody? that wants to practice. Remember, practice makes perfect. Somebody wants to practice. Okay, me. Go ahead. Where do you work? Where does he work? Where do they work? What does he do? And what do they do? What do they do? Perfect, perfect. All right. Um, it looks like you guys got the practice and understand the topic. Let's go ahead and take a look at the following section. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form WH questions using the simple present tense. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán 
cómo formar preguntas interrogativas usando el tiempo presente simple. conversación la cual ilustra cómo este tema es usado en un entorno de la vida real. So, WH questions. He works in a hotel. Allí sería a hotel o an hotel. ¿Cuál sería la correcta? A hotel o an hotel. A hotel. A hotel. A hotel. Ajá. A hotel. Porque se pronuncia la H. Hotel. Hotel. So, se pronuncia la H es consonante. All right. Let's listen to the video. Share sound. Vamos a poner a... Hi, everyone. In this class you'll learn porque to se escucha bastante... Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which Gracias, illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled, He Works in a Hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples on the chart. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. In order to form simple present WH questions, we will follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus complement. It's also important to remember the following. Whenever we talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they, we will use the auxiliary verb do. Whenever we talk about the pronouns he, she, and it, we will use the auxiliary verb does. So let's try to make sense of the first example on the chart. Where do you work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Then we have the auxiliary verb do. After that, we have the subject. Finally, we have the verb work. Let's analyze one more example. Where does he work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Uh, then we have the auxiliary verb does. After that, we have the subject, he. Finally, we have the verb work. Now, it's your turn to practice making as many questions as possible. Think of your friends, family, and co-workers and their jobs. You need to make questions and answers, just like the examples we saw in this lesson. After you finish this task, make sure that you share your work in our discussion forums. Right, now, in this activity, what I would like for us to do is practice well, the too. conversation and let's analyze this vocabulary together. Uh, please listen and repeat. But first, I have to take the attendance. Se me había olvidado. Tengo que tomar la asistencia. Okay, uh, when I say your name, please say present. When I say your name, please say present. Are you ready? 
Are you ready? Yes. Yes, ready. yes. Okay, so when I say your name, please say present. All right, Anna. Present. Ana Yanes, correct. Present. Ana Yanes, very good. Si ve a su compañero que no dice present, please me avisa. Present, okay. Present. Ana Perez. Present. Present, good. Blanca. Ah, no. Austin. Austin. Present. Very good. Uh, let me have Blanca. Blanca is present. Okay, ya la escuché. Gracias, Blanca. Uh, Brian. Brian is absent. Okay. Uh, Christian. Present teacher. Thank you. David Rodriguez. Present. All right. David Ramos. Present. All right. Deborah. Present teacher. Excellent. Delmi. Present teacher. All right. Diego. Present. Excellent. Edwin. Edwin. Absent, okay. Uh, let me have Elba. Present. Oh, fantastic, Elba. Eric. Present. Awesome. Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Jessica Romero. Present. Fantastic. Jessica Serrano. Here, present. Thank you. George. Thank you, George. Jose. Wednesday. Jose. Okay, Jose is absent. Okay, thank you. Jose is absent. Let's go with Juan. Present. All right. Catherine Funes. Thank you. Catherine Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. Catherine Portillo. Present teacher. Excellent. Laura. Laura is absent, okay. Uh, Lorena. Okay, good. All right. All right, uh, I see that we have absent, uh, Laura absent. We got Jose absent. Uh, Edwin absent. Brian absent. Okay. Any questions at this moment? Let's continue. Uh, you are going to practice the conversation in pairs. 
you are going to practice the conversation in pairs. Eh, todos recibieron the conversation in pairs in la in la yes. ahí, se, ahí se las mandé al chat. Oh. Sí, aquí está. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. We're going to practice it. And then we're going to practice as a class. Ready? Let's go. Eh, Esmeralda, ya le mandé la invitación como tres veces y no veo que entre a la reunión. ¿Me puede escuchar? Hola, teacher. Eh, usted tampoco no le llega la invitación. Dice que sí me llegó, pero cuando la intenté aceptar, se me quitó de la pantalla. Eh, no sé si será porque ahorita estoy conectado desde mi dispositivo. De móvil. Entra... Ah, ok. Ya Dice se la volví. De... Ya se la de volví nuevo, a mandar. De nuevo, teacher, cuando le quise dar clic, se quitó de la pantalla. Ah, pues sí, ese es su internet. Ah, pues ah, practique usted solo. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, uh, from there is a uh, uh, gym. How does he like it? Not very much. He do it like the manager. That to what? What hotel does he work for? Plaza. Uh, that's funny. My brother worked there too. Oh, that's inter interesting. What do he do? Actually, he is the manager. Ah, ahora no sé. Yo empiezo y ah, uh, ella que me siga la segunda y así para para practicar un poco más porque solo nosotros lo estamos pero sí sí es el... bueno, uh, where does your brother work in a hotel oh really my brother work in a hotel too he's from the Dells Island how do can like it no, very much. He's done like the manager. 
That's too bad. What hotel do we have for fun? The plaza. That's funny. My brother worked there too. Oh, time. Interesting. What do he do? Oh, he's the manager. Oh, eh, vaya, ahora que siga el compañero con usted, conmigo, no sé, con cualquiera de nosotros. Como ven, ahí no sé quién quiere volver a practicar. No sé si la compañera quiere ir. O oh, hay que hacer, ese hay que, yo digo primero, ahí no sé si nos dividimos así, como... Somos tres, aunque uno de ustedes diga o de ahí. Uh -huh. para que para que cada una. Así. Ajá, una, cada uh -huh. uno, para que practicamos. Ok, ok. ¿Quién empieza? Empiezo yo. Ah, no, no empiecen no. ustedes. Se acaban uh -huh. primero. <ríe> Where does your brother work? De ahora. Sí, sí. Perdón que me levanté una emergencia. ¿Qué, ¿En qué parte van? Es por la segunda, eh, vamos, vamos a... a hacer una cada uno. Ajá. Ah, vaya. Entonces van por la... Segunda. In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother work, working works in a hotel, too. And he found the death agent. What? What does he... Ya vea, ya nos sacó. No, no, solo oh. estoy escuchando. That's it. Okay. Continue, okay. continue, please. Actually, uh, he's the manager. Ahora, David. Voy, inicio esto. Con Ana Okay. Where... Does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother work in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. Like it? Not very much. He don't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Ahora yo. Hola. Sí. Yo inicio o yo soy Angel. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's from again. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The does plaza. he work for? That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh. That's in interim. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Ahora David va a Where does your brother work? In hotel. In uh, a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel. So he's a front desk agent. How does he like? Not very much. He don't like the manager. That's well. What hotel de, does he work for? The plaza. 
That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. All right, right, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Yeah. All right, all right, George. George, you are going to be? Yeah, Rachel. Rachel, George is Rachel. Let me have Angela. One volunteer, Angela, please. One volunteer, Angela. Me. All right, Ana Ruth, you are Angela. Action. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a from the agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like it, the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. <laughs> All right. So he's talking bad about the brother. Like, I, I, don't, I don't like the manager. That's my brother. <laughs> Yeah, that's terrible. Okay, thank Did you. you. Yeah. A few minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. Okay, let me have two more volunteers. Two more volunteers. Me, Two more I volunteers. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Catherine and uh, Austin, go ahead. Catherine, you are going to be Rachel. Austin, you're going to be Angela. Okay. Where, Where does... Oh. Wait, wait. <laughs> 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 de las dos. Cualquiera de las dos. Uh, oh, Where does... Ella, okay, okay. <laughs> Tenemos que practicar I... ellas y después tú, Austin. <laughs> All right. ¿Cuál catering? Es que me confundo con las catering. Callejas va a ser Rachel y Abigail va a ser Angela. Ok. Where okay. does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a from Hotel the... or hotel? Hotel. Uh -huh. Hotel. Ahí se pronuncia hotel. la H. Oh. Hotel. Hotel. He's hotel. A from the agent. How does he like, like it? Not very much. He does uh, like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, thanks. Interesting. What, da, what does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Thanks. He's the manager. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Good job. Good job. Hey, I see the chiquito es el mundo, guys. It's incredible. It's incredible. All right, uh, we're gonna stop right here. Uh, please move forward and try to do the activities on the platform and you have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, Good night. Good night, Good night. 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 Good night.